In today's video, Brad and I are finishing up our four round stroke play. Heading into today's front nine out here at Stonebriar Fazio course. The scores are currently at me starting today at five over par. Brad starting today at four under par. Let's see if we can take it low today. I need a big day to make a comeback. Let's get right into the front nine. The finale, Stonebriar, Fazio course, good luck. Pull it out there. Yep, have fun. Yep. Brad's four under, I'm five over. I got some strokes to make up. Driver in hand, par four. I'm expecting myself to shoot 87 today. Low expectations, but I will play better. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of right where you want to be, over on the left side. Yeah, driver trying to end it in the same spot. Gary just did. Yeah, that's fine. Might be bunker. I don't know how far that bunker is. I didn't hit it very solid, but hopefully it's short of it. And we're off. Hey, good tee ball. You get some sleep last night? I did. I slept very well. How much did you sleep? I fell asleep at like 10.30. No, it was probably, yeah, 10.30. Woke up at seven. Wow, that's impressive. Woke up at 7.45, went to bed at two. Pretty good? Two, what, what were you doing till two? Woke up. Five hours, 45 minutes sleep, you know, at the end of the day, got something going. Is this cart's on path? It has to be, right? Uh, they haven't said anything on this, I don't think. So I feel like they would have. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> 98. I thought yours was going to carry the bunker. Yeah, I didn't really know how far the bunker was. Tricky pin location here. 98, trying to carry it 98. Back into the wind, I got a 60 degree. Nice and full. You good? Didn't spin as much as we wanted, but it's all right. I got 95 yards. This is a very awkward shot. Hitting a wedge out of, like a 95 yard shot wedge out of the bunker. I just gotta, I really gotta focus on making good contact here, which is gonna be tough out of this fluffy sand, but we'll see if I can. I got sandwich. Oh, I did. Don't land in the bunker. Don't land in the bunker. Wow, I thought that was gonna rip back out of the rough fairway stuff, but it didn't. You can have my biscuit. Oh, thanks, Mike. With, my hash, with hash brown. I don't want not eating all that. I thought you were really hungry. Yeah. I let it settle. I didn't really, I knew I didn't really, I didn't need to eat more. Yeah, you give me a free read here. You give me a free read. Yeah, I like that. What 86 kind of, today is your goal? 80, I said 87, but yeah, breaking 87. So yeah. Be so 86 funny. Or It'd lower. be so funny if you actually shot like 87 today. <laughs> well, I'm off the green here, but there's like no grass here. So I'm just gonna be putting it. I'm gonna putting it. Ooh. Dial on the pace. I like this. I get a real exact free read here. I typically don't like the greens at Stonebriar, I can't lie. I just don't putt it well on them, but today's gonna change. Sure, that's all right. Par off the first. A par for me as well, both even through one. On to the next. Hi guys, the PGA season is here and Underdog, today's sponsor, wants to make it a lot more interesting. Guys, Underdog has tons of ways for you to play. Playing a pick 'em game is as simple as just picking higher or lower on your favorite player's stats, uh, strokes, birdies, or better, and so much more. Something that I find really cool with Underdog is you can make your entries across golf or mix and match across your favorite sports and you can win up to 100 times your money. That's a really good deal. Or if you're into just building your dream team, you can check out their draft games. My favorite, my personal favorite is best ball. All you have to do is draft once and then underdog auto generates your best lineup for every single week. Plus you're competing for big prizes. Their albatross contest has 500K in prizes. And if you get first place, you get 50K. That's a lot of money. If you're wondering if underdog is available for you, it's available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas and even Canada. And if you're wondering what my picks are for the Players Championship, they're right there. Ricky's gonna go lower than 71. Scheffler, man, that's a tough one. Hold on. Who? Hmm. Hmm. I gotta cheer on my boy Min Woo. Victor probably lower than 69. Justin Thomas. Hmm. I mean, I think JT will probably hit 12.5 greens or more. I got my picks. Here are my picks right over here. I'm obviously cheering on my boy Min Woo. Uh, I think it's gonna go 70.5 or lower. The rest of the picks, obviously, as you can see here. And also, I'm pairing it with Jordan Spieth to go for one stroke. All he has to do is have one stroke for me to win. So, that's literally the easiest way to make money on Underdog. 
And if you guys are wanting to get into Underdog, there's a link at the top of the description. You can use code GMGOLF, and Underdog will actually double your first deposit up to $100. Again, that's code GMGOLF, and Underdog will double your first deposit up to $100. Let's get back to the video. I need three wood for you today, Brad. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I didn't bring three wood, so I'm just gonna saute a driver. I'll hit a nice full driver, I think. Just up the left side. Is that perfect? Uh, it's my, it's gonna be Tata's if carried. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's a milk monster? That was cool, good ball. Nice. <sighs> All right, didn't cut it quite enough, but it should, it's not gonna be in those bunkers, is it? I doubt it, yeah. Bunker? Are you shitting me? <laughs> so you're sure you don't want this? I'm good. You can have my biscuit, brother. All of you. Oh yeah, I'm just here left side in the rough. Is that tree in my way, Ryder? Mr. Sandman. This is uh. Get on your knees. Yeah, this isn't a very good spot. It could be an alternate, alternate lyric for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said, Mr. Sandman, get on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Lip is pretty high, but I'm on the upslope, so it shouldn't be a problem. I want to know those lyrics. Mr. Sandman lyrics. Tree, though, is going to be a problem. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. I have to aim it at like that black tarp over on the side and hit a hook. Mom, 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 mom. Let's try to get this on the green. Make me the cooler. Limit damage. Mom, 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 mom. How did I overhook that? It's on the green though. It's all I was asking for. I'm just trying not to shoot 87 today. Bum, 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 bum. That man, something else. Bung, 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 bung. Why is there four bungs? I swear there was only three bungs. Yeah, there is, there's only bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 ah. 84 yards, 60 degree in hand. It is ridiculous that I'm finishing this biscuit. Would love a birdie. Would absolutely love a birdie. Come on. <sighs> like, why am I eating this? Uh. Okay, I think I'm just starting everything a hair left with the irons, which is a good, it's a good thing to know. Got like 60 feet here, second putt of the day, and I don't really know the speed of these greens, so it's kind of a guessing game. Yeah, I'm so alone, see a ball, stay on the green, you nag. Grab the wedge. Brad just got his worst putt in history, followed with the best cinematic view. Left to right, after seeing Brad's, this is going to be fast. My goal is to try and miss putts today, and then they'll go in. OK. My goal from the rest of the day is to not putt it off the green. 87, baby. Yeah, good putt. Good attitude today. I knew I was going to make that. Easiest two putt of my life. I might as well put it to an inch and tap it in. Actually, that was one putt. <laughs> That's two putts. One putt. Two putts. Technically one putt. Technically a two putt. If your ball starts on the green, I could have putted it back to the tee box, hit a driver from there. All like a driver from there would count as a putt. No if you way. Start on... USGA rules official coming out, baby. Yeah. Woo! If you start on the green, no matter what happens after that, every shot is a putt. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right, number three, 578 yards, four or five. <laughs> this man has Mr. Sandman stuck in his head, and I'm hearing that the rest of the day, so that's fun. I think good drives, we'll be able to get there in two. So, come on, Mr. Sandman. You know what? I hit that so good. Uh. Oh. Get back in the fairway. Never saw it. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Oh, oh, oh. My ball's in play, apparently. Allegedly. That's what they've been saying. Up there. Wow. I got. Wow. How? Yeah, I just hit it farther than you. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, my big. You know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Yes. A little, a little DOD, possibly? No. Oh. I only have 248. Big old slider here. Slice around the tree, 250. Three wooden hand. 
and no fade. Yeah, perfect. Good little layup there. Gosh, that was smoked. Right, he got such a sick angle for that too. That's unfortunate. I even told Ryder to go get a sick angle on that one. I just didn't even slice mine. I got a uh, 249 yards pin. It looks like that pin's in the back, so I'm trying to land this about 235. And I have three iron, which now I'm feeling the wind is down. I feel like it might be a little much. No, surely not. Nope, there's no cut in that, is there? Nope, that's just a pool pool over there left in that bunker, left of the bunker. In this series, I don't think there's been one time I've hit at the green and two on a par five and actually hit the green. Damn, you know, in theory, if this tree wasn't here, mine would have hit on this hill. It would have rolled around the bunker, would have just been long in the green, I would have just, you know. You'd have been by that friggin' restroom. Probably, actually. <laughs> 58 yards, 60 green hand. Gotta get a little nippy with it. This is good. This is gonna go in, potentially. Yes. Let's miss a putt. Let's try and miss that, and then it'll go in. Brad hammer bone his. You hammer bone to this I one. I got three options. I can go low, well, sorry. I That three iron lane next to the bunker hit hard, went all the way back here. I mean, just freaking massively long. I have three options. I can either go straight under the tree that's in front of me, probably the safe play, but it doesn't sound as fun. There's a fork in the tree I could go right in the middle of, or I could go mega flop over this tree. So I'm gonna go through the fork. That's cool. That was cool. Go! That's like the perfect shot. I just didn't quite land it far enough. I'll take that though. I got a birdie. That could have gone really badly. I got like 20 foot or a little double breaker, breaking left early and then back right at the end. Mm, that's a par. Not very good with an iron in my hand. You know, it'd be nice to see a putt fall. Wow. Wow, that's actually surprising. It's kind of crazy. Bands. Bet no one expected that here. Oh. Two, three holes. I'm currently one under, and I just got a stroke back on Brad. Yes, yes. Four over par to four under par. Eight behind still. All right, I got out here, Brad. Got out here. A little low BB here, back into the wind. Oh, that way. We'll take that. 200, I got a five iron here. Gonna need every bit of it to get it there, but I think four iron's too much. Oh, he's locked. Oh, he's locked. Go. I feel like that's... That is Tata's. Yeah. I got you, don't worry. Thank you. Yeah. 130, back into the breeze. Should be a perfect little knockdown pitching wedge, back into the wind. All right, I'll take that. Yesterday I couldn't hit a pitching wedge to save my life, so that's a good start there on that club. Let's make that for birdie. Left right up the hill, should fall pretty hard right. Really great run, Garrett. Very well done. Had the line. That was that was honestly one of the first putts I've hit all week that I'm like, that was such a bad roll. I got like six feet. Kind of a tricky six footer though. It's, I'm just gonna have to tap this because it's gonna be extremely quick. I think it's breaking pretty to the left, so. I don't know, and the cup is like, do you see the cup raised? It literally was rolling here, and then went, now. <laughs> it's fast, you gotta play it outside the hole, and just tap it and hope that you run it right. That's I don't, weird, there's I don't a whole how... slope moving this way. Yeah. Ball doesn't break. Par four, just aiming up the right side, little draw, if anything. I mean, then it'll play, good miss. Are those toey or are those just? That was just closed face. I just feel like wailing on this one. It just has a good look to it. Works. Good miss. Ugh, you. Yeah, that was, that was hampered. Oh, sit. 
That was a 60, but it was a flyer. We're good. We're knocking in a putt. Y'all have at t Yeah. Y'all have any issues today? No. Apparently there's a solar flare that knocked out a bunch of cellular service in at t T-Mobile, and Verizon. Solar flare. Yeah. You know what a solar flare is? Like something from space? <clears throat> like the sun will have these little like storm type, not storms, but they're kind of like storms, shoot out like a solar flare. It's like a big arc that like shoot it out. Cause problems. I guess there's one big enough where it made some cellular services go down. Pretty cool. I just read about it. I'm, my T-Mobile's fine. This T-Mobile's the best. No, that's cool. And I get five free Wi-Fi sessions okay, what each is month on flight. Sponsored by T-Mobile? What's going on here? And now it's sponsored by T-Mobile, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not getting paid. 60 yards, lob wedge, this is going in. I would that might not even get on the green. Oh, okay, I'll did. be almost upset if that goes in because of how many times you've called a hole out. I, I did not deserve to get that one to three feet. Watch I did not catch that in. solid, but it worked out. Watch this, watch this. Solid, but it worked out. And that didn't go in. Yeah. First try. First try. Quick poll for the comments. I feel like there's only one answer. Mission Impossible series or James Bond series? What's better? Vote in the top right corner. Is it bad that I've never, I haven't seen a full movie Vote. in either one of them? What? Mm -mm. You're a movie guy too. That's I know. actually embarrassing. Vote in the top right corner. I mean, such a good attempt. I don't want to jinx myself. We played a lot of holes of golf and I have not missed a short putt. I don't think I missed a putt inside of five feet. Maybe for birdie, maybe missed one for birdie. I really don't think I have though. Par three, 133 yards. <laughs> Looks like Steve just texted a, a group chat and he said, is anybody else's AT&T not working? Really? I'm AT&T, mine's chilling. He can't call anyone. I've been reading on Twitter that's or X. That everyone who's it's affecting you just says SOS on it. 133 into the wind. I got pitching wedge. Easy par three. Let's take advantage of it. No, oh, Brad. Leaky. Ah! Weekend. That's a brutal pin. Yeah, it's, right a it's a tough hole today. Very tough hole today. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to break 87, so that's all that matters. Well, you never know, Brad. What was that swing? Yeah, that was so weird. I didn't even move my right foot. <laughs> Put up the hill, don't mind it. Get a free read from Brad, can't complain about that. Can't complain, I missed the green from 130 yards. My at and T's working, also can't complain about that. Yep. I got like 40 feet breaking left the whole way. Let's focus on speed. Hit the hole please, hit the hole please, hit the hole please. It hit the hole. It did technically at the hole. Breaking 87, baby. <laughs> right on track. Saw Brad's breaking a lot, a lot. So mine's gonna break a lot, a lot. <clears throat> oh. I mean, just. Oh. <laughs> that's so. Wow. wow. That's the softest lip out I've had in a while. Not that was lie. maybe one of the softest lips I've ever seen. You know the scene from the other guys, good cop, bad cop? Yeah. I feel like when we play golf together, it's just bad cop, worst cop. Yeah. Like someone's pissed off and the other one's really pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> and there's never an in-between. Yeah, not today though. I'm, I'm, I'm positive today. Ooh, <laughs> you hole. Oh. So you're the good cop. I'm, I'm good cop today. Yeah. My ball is so far right. I don't know if I've ever hit a drive that high yaw. That was maybe the biggest high yaw I've ever hit in my life. Oh, on the edge of the bunker. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so you gotta throw in the hand. This swing change is scary. Let's do it. I think that is so good, Brad. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that's unreal. He's still filming. I'm pretty sure. Just a little long. Nice shot. It's a little long. I had 275. That's sick. Sheesh. I knew on my backswing, Brad, I could feel it. I was like, as soon as I was up here, I was like, yeah, this is going to be a good Slotted. shot. Slotted? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 187 here. It's probably 180 there. I'm going nine iron. 
Oh yeah. Go, that's not carrying. Really? I was about to say, brother. It's fine. I was, gosh, I was over that ball and started feeling the kind of end of the wind again. Yeah, I don't know. Short. I couldn't tell if it was a little width or a little into, but hit the green. Look at look at me. Look nah, at us. You're wearing a Steven Lucido signed glove. Yeah, I am. He signed it one day. I don't I don't know what day yeah, that wait, was. Let me see. You and Steve have some just lazy signatures, man. No. I see my thing is in this is this is a genetic thing. I really believe it. Okay. I can't I have terrible handwriting. Oh, watch, 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 I, I got it. Watch me try and sign my name. It's actually disgusting. It's like someone puked on a piece of paper and smeared it around. Okay. It's terrible. So I'm just like, all right, people know me for GM Golf, so I'm just gonna sign it GM. That's super like GM yeah. Golf, GM. Oh, GM. I just realized, yeah, you don't even GM. sign your initials. I don't, I don't. I used to, but I was like, did people really know your, me for GC? Like, Is that your, do you use that signature for like bank yeah. and stuff? No, no. You have like a normal. I have a normal signature, but it looks so okay. bad, and it never looks the same. Oh, that's what pra you had to practice, man. Yeah, I did. I tried for a while. I wish I could have gotten that yardage right. Hit a decent shot. Just I wasn't sure if that one was a little down or a little into. I guess it was probably just a little into. You got like 35, 40 feet from my eagle. Breaking lower at its start, and then left at the end. Yeah, let's make it. <laughs> wow, that was slow. I thought I hit that too hard when I first hit it. I'll take it. I didn't really expect it to be this good, but get it to two under, a little left right. I'm actually gonna putt this. I was just thinking, you know, I haven't missed any short putts this series. <laughs> well, I was thinking about giving it to you, but with all that talk. I wanna see this now. Dead center, ain't on no thing. Next, par three. Downwind, 2-1. We have a surprise guest joining us on the back nine. He's a Canada Tour professional, and he's played very well this season. Made tons of cuts on the Canadian Tour. Very solid golfer. So what Brad and I are gonna do is we're gonna get as low as possible in these next two holes. So depending on what we shoot on this front nine is what we have going into the back nine against Chase. If Brad can get it to, say, two under on these last two, he's got an easy par four. I can get it to three under. Going into the back nine, that's what we start at. All right, 205, par three, number eight. Straight down a win. Know that for a fact this time. <laughs> I Sorry. got. That's on me. Don't really know what that was. Pure. Pure. I'll take that. That's a good shot. Looking for a good tempo on this one and a good golf swing. Eh, maybe a little long too. Honestly, not a bad spot to chip from. Just kind of closed it down off the tee. Chippable, inable? Absolutely. 60 degree in hand, come on. That putt is gonna be dicey. Gary had a great chip shot there. I mean, it's only four feet, but this pin placement is absolutely brutal. You'll see by how much my putt's <laughs> gonna break at the hole. Smart, that's a very smart putt. Here, you. would you like it back? Sure, thanks mate. Well, I said I there. haven't missed any short putts, but this is a weird one. This is a snapper slider <laughs> down the hill. Some people would be scared in a situation like this. But Mark not you. Cut. But not me. Damn, wow, you've made that with authority. Par four, we're playing it ish drivable today. It's 372 downwind, so for Brad, Yes, for me, probably not. <sighs> Hitting this hard over the right edge of the bunker. Hey, too far right. a little too far right. Damn, that was a hammer too. We'll find that. This is not the pen for where we... Oh, I'm bunker. Oh, I'm hunkered. Well, right and not good. Brad's also short-sighted though. I mean, honestly, I don't want to get too crazy with this. 45 yards, kind of want to give myself a nice 20 footer long. Not going to be upset with that. Don't mind it. You mean 20 footer or 30. Five footer, maybe. Hit it up here like almost pin high. Normally, I would not be too mad about it, but this is very, very short sighted. I don't have the best lie ever. It's not terrible. Just have to open up the space up and get uh, get nice and cute with it. Ah, bounced off the sand. 
All right, it's kind of a safe play. So we're about getting a little too cute with it, leaving it in the bunker. I got about 12, 12 feet now for birdie. Good shot, Brad. Is that sarcasm or real? <laughs> That's a great shot. Oh. Dude, I would have been ecstatic for a shot like that. Well, I'm not mad about it. I mean, it's better than leaving it in the bunker. Nah, you should be pissed about it, actually. Little right to left and left to right at the end. Overall, there's not a whole lot in this, but it would be so cool to see a long putt fall. Whoa. Jeez. He's there, bud. Well, I'm glad I saw Garrett's, because that, I don't know how that turned that much. God, even that. Wow. I wow. mean, I played that like, I, I think I started there. I played that like right here. I did not see any of that for either of us. All right. All right, that's the one under front nine. Not, not great. I mean, it's automatic on those shorties. I thought I was gonna jinx myself. I haven't, I haven't really missed a short putt. I'm currently two under on the day, which puts me three over overall. And Brad is one under on the day, which puts him five under overall. Mm -hmm. So I'm eight shots behind. Am I gonna get that back on the back nine? No, probably not. I still might shoot 87. We'll see you guys in the next one, peace.